hey welcome back welcome back um i'm still in albuquerque and today's adventure um is old town albuquerque so i have to go get some souvenirs and stuff uh for some people so i figured i would show y'all around albuquerque and see if y'all like it or not and i done told y'all it's ghetto here but y'all see what i'm talking about so stay tuned all right guys we made it to old town plaza so the first thing when you come to Albuquerque, the first thing you need to know is lock your doors to your car, guys. There's a lot of break-ins here. And they even tell you right here at the parking lot, don't be a victim. Because they will steal your stuff. Um, so I locked the car like five times. So now we're about to go to these little shops. It's just like a little downtown area. You got a little cute little view of the mountains. Um, I just need to find some souvenirs for some people that have made requests from New Mexico. And yeah, so we'll see what Albuquerque, um, Old Town Albuquerque is about. I learned so far since I've been here. So everything's about chili. Then they have a whole chili section. Let me see if I can show you. But they have a whole hot chili section. Uh oh, excuse me. So here they got chili salsa, chili seasoning, chili chili. Chili posters, everything about chili, and then also roasted chili. Like even on this this side of the states, it's really popular. So when you come here, you always have to ask for your chili on the side if you don't like hot stuff, because your mouth is gonna be on fire. Because they don't be playing no jokes when they stay hot. So let me see what I'm about to buy, and I'll catch y'all right now. See the chili's hanging out here. So now we're about to go see what these spices talking about. So listen y'all, I decided that I'm about to quit nursing and sell art. Now, anybody an art dealer? Cause let me tell you, I feel like I'm making a little chunk of change. I just need to build in, negotiate with the local artists, right? And then I'm good. Tell me, how do I become an art dealer? Because this art is expensive. Even the jewelry. I'm in the 50% off sale and it's still $100. Like, I'm gonna take my butt right about to Claire's. Well, let me see if I can find some nice for my grandma. She'll appreciate it. Alright, guys, so I got 
my authentic Native American pieces here to send to my good friend Don. Thank you. Isn't it so cool? Incredible. This one is too. I hope Don likes it. So let me get this. Then I'll be out. All right, y'all. So I'm doing good. I got two gifts down. One more to go. Um, I wanted to get something authentic. There's a large Navajo population out here, and they do handcrafted jewelry, pots, um, all kinds of stuff, rugs. So I was able to get a handcrafted carving knife from one of my friends, and then also a handcrafted um, pie, like flower pie, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that I have a newfound appreciation for art since I've been here in New Mexico. If you come into Santa Fe, which I went a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that's cute. Um, they have a huge strip. I, gotta, I forgot the name, but I, I'll drop a link below. But a huge strip um, of art. Like it's a long strip of art galleries, which is really cool. So now I'm like, shoot. I need to get some authentic art in my house, but let me tell y'all, hmm. collecting art is not for the faint-hearted or the broke. Like thousands of dollars, I'm like, shoot, I can't even afford the house, let alone the pieces to go in it. So I think once I settle down, it'll be something that I start collecting. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking around. They have some really cool shops here. See. There are like a thousand shops. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to do this today. So, well, do it all today. So, I might have to come back, but as I'm walking in this hot New Mexico sun, I realize I ain't had no lunch. And y'all know me, baby girl likes to eat. So, I need to find some lunch, then I'll be back on my shopping journey. So, let's see what we can find to eat. Alright y'all, so that's it. I did my shopping and um, I got everybody a gift. I hope they like it. If not, oh well, because I can't return it. They better just say thank you and keep it moving. Um, I'm about to go find lunch because I still haven't found it because of COVID. A lot of the little um, eateries down here is closed down. So I got to find me some lunch. They say Mexican food food is good here, but I ain't had no good tacos yet. So I don't know what kind of taste buds they have, but it ain't my taco taste buds. So I don't know what I'm about to eat, but I'm about to figure it out. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Deuces! All right, y'all, so I found a place for me to go get tacos. So hopefully they good. Gotta be careful out in these streets. No, sir, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's small. Say hi. Look at that. Hey, hey I'm gonna break them two up. <laughs> Did you want some tacos out of here? Ate. Okay, you ate already? To you trying to get a beer? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, if I get some money right around here, I'll bring you okay. something so you can get a beer. Thank you, ma'am. All right. That's a nice camera. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to get this man some money because he was honest. My dog said he ate and he just trying to get a beer. No problem, sir. No problem. Let me focus on this menu and see what I'm about to get. Okay, y'all, I have hope for these tacos because they calling out the numbers in Spanish and also they only take cash. Those type of places are my judge. So hopefully the tacos are good. If not, then I'm done getting tacos from New Mexico and I'm gonna stick with the places I know. 
so I'll keep you posted. Lord, please let me stop supposed to be good. It's a cute little. Be careful out here in these streets, okay? Wait, I'm, see, I get a check every month uh -huh. and everything, but if I pay all my bills and stuff, I do this to buy secrets and people. Hey. And that's all I do. Hey, listen, whatever makes you happy, right? Yeah, thank you, mommy. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you, too. See, my dog said he can't afford the, the small things in life, so why not just bless him? He was going to lie anyway. He said he was going to get some food and buy the cigarettes and beer, so might as well be honest. That's how you get money. Is he going through the trash? <sighs> All right, this man's gotta go, honey. I cannot bring. All right, y'all, so I got my tacos. I didn't even show y'all the little bag. This is the package, so I got faith that they're gonna be good. So keep y'all posted. I'll take a picture or a video or something of what these tacos look like before I tear them up. Oh, shoot, I gotta share with my man, too. I ordered him a couple. Um, now, if they good, he might get a bite. I don't know. But, all right, y'all. I guess I was um, Yeah, I'm about to go home because, you know, like I said, it's ghetto here in these streets and you don't want to get too comfortable. Because even though that homeless man was nice, some of them look questionable. Especially when it comes to the mental illness stuff. So, catch y'all in a bit. Bye. Well guys, I had my hopes up for no reason because these tacos were dry and disgusting. So New Mexico and tacos do not equal a yes for me. And I'm just going to have to keep looking. So catch you guys in the next video. Maybe we'll find some good tacos. <laughs>